Hi there, welcome to Cord Cutters, the show that's all about getting rid of your expensive pay TV subscription and still watch all the TV you want. One of the ways to do this, we talked about this before, is to connect your t uh, computer straight to your TV. But it's kind of a hassle, you need a cable, you can't use your computer anymore, not everybody wants to do this. That's why there's other devices that help you with it, and one of those is the Imation Link. I got it right here. Uh, it looks a little bit like a shark fin and it helps you to get video wirelessly from your computer to your TV screen. The way they do that is that they basically have a little antenna, a little dongle that you plug in your USB drive, and then it connects it wirelessly, streams all the stuff straight from your um, computer to your TV. So why would you use something like this and not, for example, a Roku box or an Apple TV? But if you have any of these connected devices, they usually have content restrictions. Roku, for example, great device, but it only has Hulu Plus, which is a service, first of all, you have to pay for it. And secondly, it has a limited content library. Not everything that you can access on Hulu.com is available through Hulu Plus. So if you can access the website, Hulu.com, straight on your TV, of course, you're getting everything and you forget everything for free. And one of the ways to do this is through the Imation link. And let's take a look at how this looks in practice. So I, basically, this is a second display to my computer screen, and I have uh, Internet Explorer open here with Hulu, the website. I'm going to play an episode of Raising Hope right here. The Imation link supports up to 720p video. And uh, if you blow this up here right now to take a, take a look at the quality, you're going to see it. Sometimes it takes a second, of course, to kind of get in the groove, but then the video quality is actually really good. It's basically Hulu HD on your TV through a wireless connection. Now, because it's wireless, there's some issues with it. You have to be kind of in a 30-foot range of it. And line of sight is also very important because if you don't have that, I'm going to demonstrate what happens if you don't have that by covering over up this antenna. And if you look at the screen right now, you see it starts stuttering. The picture is starting to break down. We can do that again just because it's such a nice effect. It's kind of the grip of death of the animation link. Uh, but as long as you have this uh, line of sight, you should be fine. So this is how it looks like to play uh, Hulu videos on the TV through the Imation link. Of course, you can't just use it for Hulu. You can also play Netflix videos. You can play local videos if you have downloaded something. Or if you have some family videos on your hard drive, you can beam them all uh, through the Imation link to your TV. And for that, it works really well. Um, one other feature that they advertise for this device is that it also plays videos on OS X. But I'm a Mac user myself. I have a MacBook Pro at home, and I tried it out. And I must say, it really wasn't a good experience because um, especially when it came to HD video, it just started to stutter. The picture started to get a little funky. And then my fan started to spin up, and it got really, really hot on my lap. Not really anything you want to do at home. So if you're a Mac user, you probably don't want to buy this. You want to hold off until they can figure out these hardware issues a little bit. But if you're a PC user, uh, this seems like a really neat way to get video onto the TV screen. The device right now retails for $150. Um, that's a little more expensive than a Roku box, but then again, you get much more videos, as I said. And if you're one of those users who already has a computer around all the time anyway, if you always have it on your couch table, or if you always have it on your lap while you watch TV, uh, this is a great way to do it because you can beam the video to the TV screen and then still use it to be on Twitter or whatever else you're doing. So this is one way to easily connect your computer to the TV screen. Uh, there's multiple devices like this out there from competitors, from Netgear, from VBeam. We had those guys on a show way back a couple of months ago. Um, if you want to learn the differences between these different devices and see what they offer, what their unique features are, we wrote up a little comparison. We have it on our website, gigaom.com slash video. But we also really want to hear from you. We want to hear how you are connecting your uh, computer to the TV screen. If you're using something like this, um, how is it working out for you? If you're not using it, what's kind of holding you back. Write us all your opinion about this to cardcutters at gigaom.com. And while you're at it, you can also check out our Twitter feed at cardcutters and keep up with what we're doing there. And then keep watching the show. And we're going to have a couple other interesting devices coming up in the next weeks.